It's not just nothing like John Giggs at all, is it? It's so strange. It's completely different, isn't it? Look, yeah, that's up there. People ask you questions as well, they want to get to know you. That's amazing. That's a real gig. That's a real gig. The DJ for Goldie Love and Fame was here. Yeah. Let's come, Peter. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I'm Peter Knox. This is Head Noise. This is 15 minutes of shame. And you're welcome to it. Lads, I just saw you performing a gig. A matter of minutes ago. Just come off. How many minutes ago would you say? About 10? 12. 12 minutes. Maybe 12 minutes. 12 minutes. 12 minutes. 12 minutes. And I, I'd never seen you before, never heard of you before. But someone said to me, uh, they're a bit kind of like Devo. And I was like, oh, that's, I'd like to see that. That sounds good. And it was a fabulous, fabulous show. <laughs> Thank you very much. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I did enjoy it. And, um... Oh, that cat, I'm going to push that off. Yeah, the, the, there's a cat near the, um... That's, that's going to have a nice bit of jeopardy to think. Oh, it's fine. The cat's the director. Oh, she's fine. She's the director. <laughs> okay. So, you've got a nice sound. You've got a lot of electronics and stuff going on. A bit of guitars and whatnot. All that stuff. Yeah, it was um, a, mix it up a bit. It, it, it was a, um, like a kind of premeditated thing or are you just all into your with things and it come together that way? How have you found your sound? Interesting you, question I'd say really. Uh, it's evolved um, slowly enough from what, what we started. We're all into different music as well. I, I find most musicians who create sort of a, what they consider a new sound, they're not into the same sort of music. Mm -hmm. You can find like sort of like bands you can latch on to, yeah. which you can all agree on and listen to and have some sort of common ground with. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I, I, I grew up listening to like Talking Heads and Peter Gabriel and when you went to your nineties into the flaming lips. Flaming yeah. lips, Ween, Ween Messiah, yeah. all the strange stuff. Two thousands metal. <laughs> Two thousands metal. <laughs> so we got a bit of a melting pot going on, but yeah. all the ideas seem to gel together. So you turn into sort of quite experimental, interesting, creative stuff, and you're more just into thrashing away. That's <laughs> 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 uh, fine. Because you haven't got a drummer, he's the band's drummer basically. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't even know she didn't have a drummer. <laughs> He's just very small at the back. Yeah. He's a very happily iPad sized. So I'm iPad sized drummer. You use he needs a name, he does. You use technology to supply beats. Yeah. yeah. It's easier. Yeah, it but it's easier. not as loud. <laughs> yeah. We can say and it's got a different dynamic because we have thought and talked about possibly having a drummer, mm -hmm. but we think it would just turn it into a normal band dynamic. Well, obviously, it would be a band dynamic. But it we're slightly different at the moment with the drum machine and everything. You know, yeah, yeah. Picks people's ears up and we like what we hear and you know. Do you find it restrictive or sometimes having restrictions can make you more creative? Uh, I'm not trying to answer the question for you. Although... You do. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, can't, I, I guess so. Like, we can't really jam. You can't, we can't jam, sit you can't down with people. And our jam we all go off and make our own parts up yeah. together, you know. But I think it's good to do that because we all have time to listen to the songs apart and take apart what we like about them and suggest certain things and we all come to some agreement at the end when the song's finally recorded yeah. then or perform live. The jam bands are really boring anyway, yeah. it's, it's better to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Grateful Dead, no, 45 it's... minutes of a drone and E type thing, like, you know, and that yeah. goes on and on and on. That's not art. <laughs> that's not art. <laughs> it is a little bit. I, I, I'm not a critic, I don't know. I don't fuck all about art. <laughs> How long, this is a quick, uh, Quite an un interesting question, but I do want to know uh, how long have you been playing together? About ten minutes now. <laughs> <laughs> we just do this again. No way, that's a no. Bit. It's been um, that's a pork pie. <laughs> it's been a couple of years, isn't it? A couple of years. Have you yeah. been in other bands? We're, we're yeah, actually yeah. in other bands together yeah. as well. So. Right, okay. This, this, is, a, so this, this is the one we're all focused on. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is the one we all believe. This is the one we can be ourselves. This is our, yeah. Which is yeah. the pinnacle yeah. of the our creative output, I guess. It's quite a, it's, I don't know, it's quite a poppy sort of sound, but also while being sort of avant-garde and pretty interesting as yeah. well. So, um, I don't know, you could be a big pop star or something, <laughs> couldn't you? Well, I'm, I'm a, a pop star. star. Mitch is a pop star. I'm a pop star. Yeah. Everyone knows this. Yeah, well, that's we, true. Funny enough, we were discussing this on the way down, that um, we have, even though we're trying, you know, this bit of experimental and a bit of, like you said, Devo and the electro stuff going on, there's still a pop sensibility about it. I love pop music, but I love good pop music. Good pop yeah. music. Depends when it's from. Yeah. Yeah. The era, <laughs> era, plays, era plays a big part because you look at songs like Johnny May, where you've got the 
bloody like, power and like some toyer songs in the 80s and they're awesome pop songs and people look to them as pop acts now you look at them as like interesting in experimental people from yeah, that yeah, era exactly, you know it's yeah. strange <laughs> and then something that I think about you know there's like um, you know that song One by U2 which I think is an awful song but then Johnny Cash does a cover version of it and you're like oh no it's actually an amazing song so that well, that, that's that's the other thing is I we produced the song and well, like you say it's the same song but then they completely the same as Nine Inch Nails Who and John Cash same thing mm-hmm. no. you should hear our cover of Walk Like an Egyptian should, yeah. I, think, I think you'd enjoy <laughs> that one yeah we've left off I did up a touch and you, you did a nice cover version tonight at the end it was Chemical Brothers <laughs> Hey Boys and Girls and then it went into is it the Vines yeah, yeah and then right at the end yeah, there's, three. A little, there's a little yeah. snippet of um, Smashing Pumpkins oh, yeah. just for me Oh, I didn't notice that. <laughs> it's cool when they pick up on the Vines stuff and they add a little bit to it. I love the Vines. I, people just, yeah. tend to say, like, you know, all oh, those Nirvana rip off bands from the noughties, but they're cool. I like them. Yeah, Factory is a great song. Factory's amazing. They had some great songs. Yeah. And they're, not, they're not a great band, but they had some great songs. <laughs> yeah. That's all right, isn't it? And that is our kind of jam because we melded three songs into one at the end, so that is our, our jam phase done. Do you play a lot? Right. A big hole do a lot. It's quite hard to get gigs these days, generally for bands, isn't it? Where we are from, it's very um I don't know, we don't get the sort of same sort of reaction in back in South Wales that we do up here. When we're up here, we yeah. feel like we're in a band. When when you play at home sometimes people turn their heads and they don't take notice they don't care, like you know, you've got a room full of people, but they do have a night out, they don't care about what bands oh, playing. Be, uh, but I saw people tonight smiling, singing along the songs they didn't know, dancing and that's, 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 what that's what you want, that's what you want in a band. You know? Yeah. Oh, they saw something, they enjoyed it, and they felt that they could come over and ask us something, which is cool. Like, yeah. what's the? I need to ask you a question. What's the music scene like up where you guys are from? Like in those Glasgow sort of way, like it's quite good in Glasgow because Glasgow's kind of a low rent kind of place, um, so that like venues can afford to exist. Yeah, I live in Edinburgh, which is it's just like a money city. You know, it's like any venues or cool places get turned into like yuppie flats or coffee yeah. shops or stuff like that so um glasgow's got a great like in glasgow there's probably about a hundred different bands playing every night whereas in edinburgh there's maybe more like eight or something yeah okay like that so yeah glasgow's got a lot of stuff going on there's loads of bands playing loads of venues every night but i don't i, I don't know many other cities like that really I suppose Manchester's got a lot going on, but I've, I've not really yeah. witnessed it for myself. Bristol's very busy. Is it? Yeah. It's crazy. Like, the amount of ba- There's so many good bands in Bristol. I would literally go deaf every single night from watching bands. <laughs> but I'd be, I literally would be out every single night in Bristol watching bands, because I, I found something interesting and new. There's so many creative, different... They're doing different things as well, you know, yeah. so it's not all the same. So you can go some places, like Cardiff, some of the bands can be all quite similar. Yeah. There's so many different genres in Bristol and that. I'm not, I'm not pro Bristol because I haven't been there much, but mm. I've seen some wicked bands down there in the past. Would you like to move to Bristol? No. 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 So far. Would you like to stay in Wales? I like Wales. Yeah, yeah I like Wales. I'm yeah. not patriotic, but I like Wales a lot. There's a lot of great bands from Wales. Uh, uh, don't, furry animals. <laughs> don't, say the, don't say the certain don't one, right? Animals. Keep going, that's fine. Yeah, super animals. Don't furries are fine. Is. I can't think of any others. That's fine, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Shirley Batty, yeah, yeah, Shirley, Shirley yeah, Batty, fix the bender, Shirley Batty, all that, and the Bond themes. Yeah. But um, you don't want to talk about that. That's the past. Let's talk about the future. So have you? you so you had some CDs. Is that yeah. an album, an EP? The people want it. Imagine someone wanted to buy it. Could they find it online or something? Oh uh, yeah, we've got everything online. We've got like Bandcamp pages. So if you Google head, head noise Bandcamp, yeah, band yeah. Band so. Noise band the general sort of forward slashes, so it could be like Facebook forward slash, like Bandcamp forward slash, it's usually give me head noise. And give me head noise? Yeah. Okay. But just type head noise Wales and you usually pop up. You find us. Right, okay. There's music on there, there's pictures of us doing things we shouldn't be doing, it's great. It's a, it's a free for all. Okay. Yeah. We currently just about to release a new EP. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We like to. We're striving towards at the moment. We, we kind of inspired by the fall because they constantly, you know, the band The Fall. They, yeah. They constantly releasing so many things all the time and we like that, but we haven't got enough time to make an album. So it's usually singles, EPs, mini albums, and we're on like seventh release now, I think so, maybe. Yeah, something like that. But yeah. I, I like having a, a, a big discography because I've never really been in a band where you can't release so many things. I think putting out more 
EPs and singles is a bit more dynamic because you're not waiting for more tunes to come out. You can, yeah. you know, come up with your record them, get them out, and then you can move on. Yeah. So well, that's it. You know, you can um, pick an album, it's do an album, takes a year, release it. Next album, year after that, on and on with this. You can release what you want when you want, and it's just a constant flow of new ideas. And a, and a band thrives on you know unique music they put out material. They can sway through different genres, sway yeah. TV, and, instead of just yeah. sticking to the 